In this video, we will discuss how to calculate the probabilities for discrete probability distributions and for binomial distributions. So for our first example, we have a discrete probability distribution. And on our calculator, we need to press the stat button. Then select option number one for edit. The number of games played needs to go into L1, and our corresponding probabilities need to be listed under L2. A quick way to delete what's already in your table, move your cursor to the top, press clear, and then enter. For each entry, press enter to move to the next line. As always, after you've entered your answers, you want to make sure that the values are correct. So just verify that you typed in the correct numbers. So once we have our probabilities in, we want to go back to the main screen. So in order to quit, we press second and mode. From the main screen, stat, we move our cursor over to calculate. And even though we have two lists, we still want one of our stats. But we need to enter in L1. And L1 is right above the number 1. And since it's in blue, we have to press the second button. Column L2. So X bar is our mean. So the mean of this probability distribution is 5.7816. So if the World Series is played many times, we would expect that on average it will last about 5.7816 games. And our standard deviation is given here, 1.1 games. If you have the newer operating system, you would need to go to Mode. And once you scroll all the way down, you need to make sure to turn your stat wizards off. If your stat wizards were on and you tried to perform this step, stat, calculate one of our stats, you're not able to enter in list one comma list two. So this is why you need to turn off your stat wizards. After you do any work with discrete probability distributions, though, you do want to turn your stat wizards back on. So next, for binomial distributions, we have n is equal to 10. That's our total number of trials. p is our probability of success. So we want to find the probability of exactly six successes. We're going to use the binomial PDF function. So one way to find it is under distributions, which is right above VARS. So since it's in blue, we press the second button, then VARS. And you can either scroll down or go backwards and scroll up. So binomial PDF, press enter. Here my stat wizards is on, so this is for the new operating system. So for you, you would enter in the number of trials, 10 and press enter. Enter in your probability. Make sure it says a decimal. Press enter. Then the x value. Here we are finding the probability of exactly six successes. So we press six and press enter and then paste. So for if you don't have a stat wizard or if your stat wizard is off, you would see this screen and you would have to manually enter in 10 comma 0.8 comma 6. So once we press enter, we find that the probability of achieving exactly six successes is 0 0.088. Next, we want to find the probability of six or less successes. So when there's more than one 
value you're trying to find, then you use binomial CDF. And this time I'll show you what it looks like when your stat wizards are off. So we do the same thing. We go back to distributions, which is right above VARS. We press second in the VARS button. You can scroll down or you can scroll up. This time we want binomial CDF. The C stands for cumulative. And we enter our total number of trials, 10, comma, your probability, 0.8, comma, here we want six or less successes. So the way the binomial CDF function works is whatever the X value is you plug in, it finds the probability of that event occurring plus the probability of every event below it. So binomial CDF is finding the probability of exactly six successes, exactly five, exactly four, exactly three, exactly two, exactly one, and exactly zero. And it's adding all of those probabilities together. That's what the cumulative stands for. So here we find our probabilities 0 0.1209 0 .9 when we round to four decimal places. Here we want the probability of less than six. So binomial CDF finds the probability of the number that you enter for x and everything below it. Here we want everything that's less than six. So that means for our binomial CDF we want five and below. An easy way to repeat the line that you just typed in is to press second and enter. And the only thing we're going to adjust is now, instead of 6, we want 5. Because we're looking for the probability of everything less than 6. We do not want to include 6 in this answer. And the last one, find the probability of more than 6. So we don't want to include 6. We want everything higher than 6. So that means we're looking for 7. We're looking for 8. We're looking for 9. We're looking for 10. All of those options. And we stopped at 10 because our total number of trials is 10. So there are a couple of different ways you can do this. One way is to find the binomial PDF of exactly 7 successes. Add that to the binomial PDF of exactly 8 successes, exactly 9 successes, exactly 10 successes, and add all those together. Or you can use the complement. So we want the complement of more than 6. So we would do 1 minus our binomial CDF. So you can go to distributions once again. Another way to access it is to go to catalog. So you press the second button, then 0. The alpha key is already on, and it's indicated by that in the corner. So we want to go down to the Bs, and Bs are located right above apps. And here is another way that you can access your binomial CDF. So once again, you enter in the total number of trials, 10, comma, your probability, 0.8, comma. Here, we're looking for the probability of more than six successes. So you really want 7, 8, 9, and 10. The binomial CDF, whatever x value you enter, it calculates that probability and everything below it. So that means we want 6 and 1 minus that statement allows us to have the probability of more than 6.